Hello, my beautiful mommies. I am back again today to talk about the importance of self-care, not just in my life, but um, also things that I help share with other moms and things that I've heard along the way. So I'm sure self-care is nothing you know, new, but I feel like as moms, we need reminders for self-care. Um, at the beginning of becoming a new mom of baby, I definitely overextended myself trying to tackle everything, trying to take care of everything and everyone. And um, even had a story where when my husband was out of town, my son got sick and he was under the age of one. And he had been crying off and on for over 48 hours to the point where I was holding him and trying to comfort him so much that my arms were hurting so badly. And I eventually laid on the floor and just put my hand on his chest and literally had tears streaming down my face. I had never been so exhausted. And I learned, even as silly as it sounds, because I know I've talked to some moms and they've said, well, I feel guilty doing self-care. I, I feel guilty taking time to do that, um, whether you know their husband was working um, and feeling like they almost didn't deserve to take time for self-care. And there's a quote that I absolutely love that I heard from another YouTuber, um, the universe guru, Mina Irfan. I don't believe it's her quote, but she mentioned it. And when she mentioned it, it pierced my heart. Um, and it is that you don't have to light yourself on fire to keep your family warm. And I had definitely at different times run myself into the ground and, you know, I, I take full responsibility. Um, I had the choice to do something different, to ask for help, um, to actually carve out time because nobody's going to give me time to carve out time for self-care. And ultimately that's what I ended up doing. Um, I, started once I got the baby routine set, you know, to a certain extent, then I focused on my mom routine. And I set aside just, you know, 15 minutes here, 30 minutes here, chunks of times, at least once a week to do things that filled my cup. And so I just want to be here to serve as a reminder for moms. Um, I, I have a passion for encouraging and offering support to moms. I feel like we are amazing. We are powerful. We go above and beyond. Um, yes, men do that too, but moms specifically do it in a different way. Um, not just with what they do, but also the energy that they pour in to their family and loved ones. And so while we are taking care of other people, I want to be here to remind you, take care of yourself as well. You have permission to take care of yourself as well. I eventually gave myself permission, even if I had to schedule it in my calendar. And, you know, and sometimes I could do it on that schedule time, being realistic as a mom, sometimes I just fit it in whenever I could. But making the time to fill your cup, especially for those times that are non-negotiable, that you have to be there. You have to be awake off and on for 48 hours. And those times, you know, you can't schedule in. They just happen. So that's why I believe and I encourage and I lovingly share when moms ask 
um, some things that I did and what I went through and what was helpful for me. And um, another thing to remember is that self-care does not always have to be expensive. It doesn't necessarily have to be a pedicure, although it can be a pedicure. Um, I spoke with some moms and they said that they would much prefer doing art or doing something creative that that actually filled up their cup more than going and getting a pedicure or going and getting a massage. You could also just take time to do a bubble bath and maybe play some relaxing music on Spotify, find a spa channel and, you know, take out 15 minutes. Um, and if you need to bring the baby in, you know, that's what you have to do, but at least have spa music, even if you hear the baby in the background um, or ask your significant other to, hey, do you mind this week? I need, I could really use 30 minutes to an hour. Um, what would be the best day or time for you? And ask for their help to watch the baby. So you can take time to take care of yourself so you can better take care of other people. So again, just want to be your reminder to that you are important too, and that filling your cup isn't just about going and doing, you know, something that's maintenance. It's about refilling your cup for your energy and whatever is going to give you energy in whatever way is going to fill your cup. So I will be speaking about this topic a lot more, especially as it um, relates to gratitude and finding ways to have more gratitude and just getting yourself into that space um, to uplift your mood. And so I will definitely be sharing more on this topic and look forward to the next one. Bye.